Greetings, Professor Hobo here. I have gotten dozens and dozens and dozens of questions about the EcoFlow Wave. Can you run it off a 12 volt battery? Can you run it off a 24 volt battery? Can you run it off a 48 volt battery? Can you run it off a Blue Eddy? Can you run it off, you know, the International Space Station? People just, they want to run this air conditioner on anything except another EcoFlow product. Now, this air conditioner is designed to run off of either the EcoFlow battery or the EcoFlow Delta Pro or Delta Pro Smart Battery or Delta Max. It's not designed to run on anything else, not DC to DC. Now, like I said before, you can plug this into AC power, run it off of whatever solar generator you want. That's not what we're talking about. Everybody wants to know. I mean, this is like the number one question by far I got in my last two videos. This cable here, this is the DC to DC battery cable. This is what you plug into the Delta Pro to power the air conditioner directly from a battery, not from an inverter, directly from the battery. So tonight we're gonna do some experiments and I'm gonna answer these questions and I'm gonna post this video and anybody who asks me, can it run off a battery? Can it run off a Blue Eddy? Or can it run off a Jackery? They're gonna get spammed the link to this video because really I didn't have a clear answer until tonight, until I did some experimenting. So let's look and see what I hacked to find out if you can run this off of a 48 volt battery. Dozens and dozens of you have asked me, can you just hack the cable? You know, say you got this cable from EcoFlow and you're just gonna chop it up and you're just gonna hook your own 48 volt battery to it. Cause this actually runs on a 48 volt battery. Well, I have an answer for you. I jacked these two wires in on the positive and negative of the main leads in there. And I have just, just shoving wires into the XT60. I did verify this connection works. So when I originally hooked this battery up through the air conditioner and I did the same thing, it said 57 volts. So I set this to 57 volts and I'm just shoving the wires on the XT60 connector. So here we go, I do have the polarity correct. I just stick it in there and I hear a click. I do actually hear a click from the air conditioner. There is a relay inside triggering. Now let me see if I can pick this up on camera. I don't know if you can hear that at all. So I'll tell you what's happening. You can see inside the cable, there are these six pins. Now, obviously the EcoFlow battery an EcoFlow Delta is communicating something with those six pins, telling things to turn on or off. Now, I could get all super elaborate and try to check each one of these pins and figure out what they do, but uh, that's beyond the scope of this video. This, this is just to answer the question I got over 50 times. Can I run my own battery into the main EcoFlow cable? The answer is no, unless you're some kind of electronics expert and you can figure out what these pins do, feel free to go ahead and experiment, blow your own air conditioner up. Uh, this is about where I stop because I'm already applying almost 60 volts raw into this machine without using these pins. I don't know if it's just that these pins are a trigger or they send data. I'm sure there's some of them that send data back and forth because you have to realize it's getting information from the battery as to how much the battery's charged, how long it can last, that's why it shows up on the screen. Same thing goes for the Delta Pro Smart Battery. Before the firmware update, I could plug this in and it would power the air conditioner, but it wouldn't say anything on the watts. Once I did the firmware update, the wattage worked. So obviously the firmware update had to update that communication. So it could tell the air conditioner what was plugged in, how many watts, how much battery percent, stuff like that. So while I hate to be the bearer of bad news, it doesn't look like there's any easy solution to run your own 48 volt battery into the EcoFlow Wave. Now I'm sure there are electronics engineers out there who probably look at that pin layout and know exactly what this thing does. Well, if you wanna publish the schematics and let everybody know how to plug their own battery and that would be great. I'd be the first one to try it, but in this case, you can't just plug 48 volts into the two main wires and expect it to power the air conditioner. Just not gonna happen. Now there is a possibility that if you buy the air conditioner with the battery and you do this jump like I have here, basically I just have wires shoved into the holes. You could do something a little more elaborate than this. This was just for testing purposes. What I'm thinking is it might be possible to plug a 48 volt 
52 volt battery into this with this hooked up. Now, I'm not gonna risk it because this is not a lithium iron phosphate battery. If somehow this 4,000 watt charger overloaded or backfed that battery somehow and blew out the BMS, I could have a fire on my hands. So I'm not actually gonna try that. In theory, you should be able to run this battery to the air conditioner, do this short any way you want, tap into the wires. You could probably take this apart and solder a pair of connections that come out, and, you know, some heavy duty wiring that can handle three or 400 watts. Plug that into a 48 volt, 52 volt battery system and then extend the runtime of this battery directly through the main cable. The proper way to do it would be to take this apart, solder your own two connections on there, possibly run a 48, 52 volt battery into the air conditioner at the same time this is plugged in. Because what this will do is this will send that data signal to the air conditioner tell it, hey, the battery's turned on, hey, I'm sending you power. And the display up here would probably not work properly if you put your own 48 volt battery because it's not calculating for that external battery, but it probably would work. I am not gonna try it because I'm not going to potentially cause a fire or burn this thing up. I still got more experiments to do with it, so I don't wanna blow it up. So anyway, hopefully that answers your question for you. Question number two, which was also asked dozens of times on the last two videos I did on the EcoFlow Wave. Can you use a Jackery or a Blue Eddy, and I just have these as examples, can you use these to run the Wave? Yes and no. First, the Wave requires four to 500 watts of AC power if you wanna power this directly with AC power. Now, both of these products have inverters, that both are capable of doing that. But you really don't want to use a Jackery or Blue Eddy inverter to power a DC air conditioner. If you watch my first video, I show you there's a lot of power loss, almost 200 watts of lost power running this off of AC inverter power or wall power instead of running it directly from a DC battery. So if you're talking about running this off of AC from a smaller Jackery, smaller Blue Eddy, or any power station that can do at least 500 watts, yes, you can power it that way. But the question I was really being asked was, can you power this DC, not AC, through a Jackery or Blue Eddy by using, because this has a 12 volt output, and so does this Blue Eddy. Both of these products have 12 volt output plugs. And most people don't realize that, you know, these are very limited. It can only do about 120 watts, which isn't enough to power the air conditioner. But you can, in fact, extend the life of this battery. If you get the air conditioner with its battery, you can actually use the output from the Jackery 12 volt plug or the Blue Eddy 12 volt plug into the solar input. Now the solar input can take 200 watts of DC power. It doesn't have to be a solar panel. So that means you can technically get an extra hour or two of runtime on this air conditioner by using the DC output on one of these generators into the solar input. All you have to do is have an adapter that goes from the 12 volt to MC4 because this air conditioner does come with an MC4 adapter to hook into solar. So as long as you have an MC4 adapter, which you can get on hobotech.tv slash Amazon under solar adapters, you can do this. Now there is one exception to this rule and that is if you actually own a Blue Eddy AC300. Now that's this big model, it's Blue Eddy's biggest offering. It's a 3000 watt generator. This actually comes with both a 12 volt and a 24 volt output. Now the 24 volt output's typically used for 12, 24 volt refrigerators. It makes them run a little more efficiently. But if you own this particular model and you have this 24 volt output, which is good for 10 amps, or 240 watts, which is higher than the solar input on the EcoFlow Wave, you can in fact use this cigarette lighter output with that same adapter. And with this unit, you could actually run 24 volt out and that would be into the solar input on the EcoFlow Wave and able to provide up to 208 watts into this battery while it is running. And you might be asking, why is that important? Because if you can pump 208 watts into this while it's running, 
and it's only using about 300, 320 watts to run, you now just seriously extended the runtime on this from about two and a half hours to 11 or 12 hours. Now that's a pretty big deal. So I do have the proof that this is possible. Let's check it out. Okay, here is proof of concept. You see there it says 11 hours, going back and forth between 11 and 12 hours. I have this set on the lowest setting, which is 60 degrees. It won't allow you to get any colder than that. I do have the fan set to its lowest setting, which is gonna save a little bit of power. But you can see right there, it says it's gonna run for 11 hours. And this air coming out of here is 57 degrees, so it's nice and cool. The battery is full, you can see. There are four lights. There are four lights! And what I got going on here is I have this variable voltage power supply providing 26 volts at eight amps. This seems to be the sweet spot. So if you wanna pump 208 watts into this battery while this is running, you can do that. So I'm pumping 208 watts into the solar port. So I'm not using this port, I'm using the solar port. I have the solar adapter. It's running into my handy dandy power supply. So what's happening is that the air conditioner is actually running off this battery, okay? It's not running off the solar, it's running off the battery. But I'm pumping in an imaginary 208 watts of solar while this is running. And what I did is I went into the timer mode and I told it, you can adjust the timer to be like anywhere from 30 minutes to eight hours. And I said, set the timer for eight hours. Because what this does is this spins down the compressor. So it's not really a 4,000 BTU air conditioner anymore. It's less than that. I don't know how much less maybe 3,000, maybe 3,500, but it spins down the compressor so it uses less power. So essentially what's happening is that this air conditioner is using 200 something watts instead of 300 something watts. That's why you're getting so many hours. Now this is fairly accurate. We've tested this before in my other reviews. Within about 10%, it seems to be about, about the right time. So it's saying, it flips back and forth between 10 and 11, that on this battery, if you supply 24 to 26 volts through the solar part, this will run for at least 10 to 11 hours, as long as you keep the speed down, keep the fan on low, and set the timer to eight hours. This seems to be a little trick that I found that really, really extends the time because typically this would last two and a half, maybe three hours. You can now add your own 24 volt battery. If you have a 24 volt battery or a 24 volt power supply, you can plug it directly into the solar port and quadruple, quadruple the runtime. Now this is running off of DC. I know this is an AC power supply, but the power coming through here is DC. This is just like solar or it's just like a battery. Now, this isn't gonna work on 12 volts. It will pump power in at 12 volts, but only at eight amps, which means you're only gonna get like 100, 100 watts. It's not gonna be enough to really make this much better. Now you can, or let's just show you what 12 volts will do. So after we reset the voltage, look at the time difference. Now it's saying you're only gonna get about six and a half hours or so on the battery. So you're actually, losing a very considerable amount by supplying it with only 12 volts instead of 24 volts. That just makes sense. If you're gonna power this through the solar port, you should actually use 24 volts. So that does in fact mean you can get way more hours of runtime on this by hooking in a 24 volt battery. Now, instead of using a Jackery or Blue Eddy or some other power station that has an output on it, you can, in fact, use these lithium iron phosphate drop-in batteries. But the thing is, if you only use a 12 volt battery, you're only gonna be able to supply 100 watts to this, and you'll only extend it to maybe six or seven hours. If you have two of these in series providing 24 volts, and you put that into here, that's the maximum you can get out of this system. So 24 volts at eight amps, which is the limit of the EcoFlow wave, provides 208 watts. That 208 watts will extend the runtime of the air conditioner with the battery 
its own built-in battery to 11 or 12 hours using that trick I just showed you. Going through the solar input, anybody can do. That's something that anybody could do. If you have a 24 volt battery setup or a 24 volt charger like I got here, that's a piece of cake. All you need is an adapter uh, and then it just works just fine. So there you have it. Hopefully that answered your questions for you. Now, if you're interested in the EcoFlow Wave battery powered air conditioner, EcoFlow did extend the pre-order discount for another 30 days. Supposed to end last week, they decided there's such a high demand for this product, they're just gonna go ahead and do another 30 days of pre-orders. That means you can save a ton of money if you decide to buy this with a EcoFlow Delta Pro, Delta Max, or the battery that you can get with it. So if you're interested in the EcoFlow Wave, there is a link below in the description of this video. I'll also put it at the bottom of the screen along with the QR code that you can scan on any mobile device. Do make sure you use the promo code in the description because it'll knock a few bucks off of this and every little bit helps. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. If you search for a soldier, is a fan of the net, go to YouTube and watch Hobo Tech, cause he's a test in this and he's a probing that. He's even been probing, probing his cat. If you want to get all the soldiers back, go to Hobo Tech. Yeah! Golf guy Andrew Von Rupp, Brian Lieber, John Stacey Soroka, Dr. Steve Eisenhower.